Problem number 11, if we want to write our system, and writing the systems is typically the most difficult part of <clears throat> these word problems. So we have, in a particular test, there are 20 multiple choice questions, and for everyone you get right, you earn five points, and for everyone you get wrong, you lose two points. So when we read that, we have two types of questions, ones that you get right and ones that you get wrong. So our first, or our system, we are going to get five points for every question correct. And we are going to subtract two points for every question that we got wrong. And that student earned 65 points, okay, using that scale. Now we have two unknowns, so we need two equations. Well, we also know that there are 20 multiple choice questions. And for every question, you either get it correct or wrong. So we know that the number of questions correct plus the number of questions wrong has to equal 20. So now we have two equations and two unknowns. For the second one, Scott has a bunch of dimes and nickels in his pocket. He has twice as many dimes as nickels. So we have, again, two variables, dimes and nickels. And if you have twice as many dimes as nickels, that means your dimes, to make them even, we have to double the amount of nickels. And it's a common mistake to flip this and have the two on the other side. So maybe give it a value. If you have twice as many dimes as nickels, let's say you have 10 dimes and two nickels, I'm sorry, 10 dimes and five nickels, to make them even, you'd have to double the number of nickels. And so that is one equation. So how many of each coin you have. We have a second equation, which is our value equation. Well, dimes are worth 10 cents. So we could write that as 0.10D, or just 0.1D. And nickels are worth 5 cents, so 0.05N. And that's going to equal $3, so 3.00. Of course, we don't need the point zero zero there, and we don't need the zero there, but just to kind of explain it in terms of money, that would be our two by two system. Problem 13, we have the sum of the three siblings, Kate plus Nate plus Tate is 38. So Kate plus Nate plus Tate is 38. So that's one equation. Now we have three unknowns we are going to need three equations. So next we know that Kate is twice Nate's age. So Kate is twice Nate's, Nate's age. And the last part gets kind of tricky. It says, in four years, Kate will be twice Tate's age. So here's Kate and here's Tate. And in four years, Kate is gonna be Kate plus four, and in four years, Tate is gonna be Tate plus four, and in four years, Kate is twice Tate's age. And so that last equation is kind of tricky there, but we have three equations, we have three unknowns, and so we can solve that system. And the last one, we have Tom uses $5,000 Christmas gift, nice Christmas gift, to invest into two separate accounts to help him pay for college loans. And so we wanna know how much money does he put into each account. The first one earns 5% interest, and the second account earns 3% interest, and he earned $190 in interest. So for an interest equation, we could say 0.0, 5x, x being how much he put in that account, plus 0.03y, y being how much he put in the 3% account, he earned a total of $190. Our second equation now, since we have two unknowns, we know that the amount that he put in the first account, which is x, and the amount he put in the second account, which is y, is equal to 5,000. And so that is our two by two system.